the intern was like, I think he's bleeding out. And literally it was like a waterfall of blood just coming out through the pelvis. What's the craziest thing you've seen in the ER? Two people came in through the ambulance bay and they were Smurf blue. I was like, whoa, I was like, that's interesting. I was like, what's that all about? A guy with the, the thing he used for guacamole, I guess to like grind it, I don't know what that thing's called. Uh, he put that up his rectum and we see people sticking stuff up their butts maybe every once every couple months. What's the worst smell you've experienced? I don't know if you want to hear this, but I guess bloody diarrhea, does that count? You know, it's so hard because when you do it every day, like you're used to it. Um, I recently smelled a really pungent vomit. I've smelled vomit before, but I don't know why this time it just really hit me. What still grosses you out? Body odor still really bothers me. So when I get those patients that kind of just like throw on a mask and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, like I'm coughing, I'm not feeling well, but it's really because they smell really bad. So I don't get grossed out by like things, but when I hear the story though of how some people get hurt, that grosses me out. Has an incident ever freaked you out? Uh, I remember I passed by a room and one patient actually <laughs> was like already like somewhat restrained, but like had like monster strength and just like came out of like, he like lifted the whole stretcher up. I was like, is that real? There was a guy that came in one time and I unwrapped his foot and there was maggots all over his foot. And it was my job, lucky me, to go and clean up the maggots and uh, the maggots pretty much ate like down to the bone. How often do you have to look up a diagnosis? Every day, I mean, things are changing all the time. You see a lot of the same things all the time. And then like once in a blue moon, you'll get, a, you'll get something that like you, you don't know at all. Other doctors might actually talk amongst each other and ask each other like, oh, they're, what do you think this is? And like, it, they bounce off of each other. Definitely when I first started out, I was like, oh yeah, I definitely know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna go over there just to get your medication. What's the most rare condition or disease you've seen? She had this fainting condition. We had to Google it and it was real. It was a real thing and I had never seen it, but she had something that said like, I always faint, this is normal for me. Like I faint and you know, like this happens all the time. I was with a baby like six months ago and um, he had this condition like where his heart just wasn't working properly and he was gonna need like a heart transplant at six months to survive. We coded him for a while and then we we sent him to another hospital. I don't I don't know what happened to him after that. But that was probably one of the most rare conditions I've seen in the ER. <laughs> Sorry. You don't apologize at all. <clears throat> Next one. Do you eventually become numb to trauma? One of the things that actually like a lot of us have tried to do is that if a patient passes, we'll actually pause at the end of the trauma and actually have a moment of silence to just honor the patient. That makes you more conscious of like what you're doing and it's just not just another person coming through the door. When the patient first comes, you kind of have to be numb to just get through the day and get through whatever you need to get through. But then once all it's done, you're like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe that just happened to somebody. Anything can happen to anyone at any time. So. We have that appreciation for life after each shift when we talk to each other about it. You know what I call it though? Like I really think ER nurses are a jack of all trades. And that's why I'm like, I'm so like proud to be an ER nurse in particular because I think we do so many different things. So, I mean, I love it.